Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, I'm going to share a few quick techniques to improve the performance of Lightroom. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our site. Let's take a look at the import dialog box and see how you could save a little bit of time by making sure that your build previews are set to either standard or one to one. Now you would set these to one to one if you find yourself zooming in often to check for focus. And if you don't, then standard might work. But if you have either one of these selected and you wait until Lightroom generates those previews, then as you go through your images, you won't won't have to wait for them to generate as you are calling, thereby making the process faster. But if you're going to generate those one-to-one -one previews, then let's go ahead and make sure that our preferences are set appropriately by pressing command or control comma, and then going to the catalog settings and file handling. You want to make sure that automatically discard one-to-one -one previews is set to any of these first three options, but you would not want to select never as Lightroom would maintain those files on your hard drive. I set mine to after one day because typically once I zoom in and make sure that a photo is in focus, I don't need that preview again. And even if I did, Lightroom can generate it on the fly. Another thing you might want to try to speed up Lightroom is to go to File, Optimize Catalog and click Optimize and let Lightroom clean things up for you. Doing this every so often may help Lightroom to perform a little bit faster. And finally, let's take a look at your cache again by pressing command comma, that's control comma on the PC and choosing file handling. Now the reason this is important is because every time you view or edit a raw image in the develop module, Lightroom will generate up to date high quality previews and it uses the original image data as its foundation and then updates the preview for any processing or adjustments that have been applied. The process is a little faster if the original image data is in the camera raw cache. Lightroom checks the cache for the original image data and can skip early stage processing if the image data is cached. <laughs> now all that to say, Lightroom sets the default to one gigabyte as you can see here. If you increase the cache size, it can store more data, which in turn speeds the generation of previews of those images. Some Lightroom users find that increasing the camera raw cache to 20 gigabytes or more can dramatically speed performance in the develop module. But the thing to keep in mind is sometimes performance enhancements come at a cost. <laughs> and that's in terms of how much space it uses on your hard drive. Periodically, if you feel like your hard drive is filling too quickly and Lightroom might somehow be involved, you can go ahead and purge the cache in order to clear that. And we've talked previously about the performance issues in Lightroom using the graphics processor. Now you notice I have mine unchecked. I've done a video about this before. In that previous video, I said that many computers seem to struggle with this graphics processor acceleration. If you find that Lightroom is behaving erratically, you might want to have this unchecked. In fact, I have spoken with very few photographers who have been able to use this successfully, even with newer machines. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.